In 2002, band member Norman Rowe wrote a march for our band, and we play it tonight in recognition not only of Norm's contribution, but also to recognize the centennial observance of Lithia Park. The park was actually established in 1892, but it was in 1908 that the Ashland Women's Civic Improvement Club urged the citizens of Ashland to pass a measure to include park maintenance. A band board was elected, and in 1914, the development of today's park was begun with the hiring of John McLaren, designer of San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Norm Rowe, composer of this march, and his wife, Yvonne, who was the typist in Leroy's typewriter song several weeks ago, have been members of the Ashton City Band for 14 years, and their daughter, Janetta, who sang the national anthem tonight, has been with the band as a regular member for five years. Norm and Yvonne live in Gold Beach. So they drive over here every week on Wednesday and Thursday for rehearsals and concerts. Norm is a bus driver for the Curry Public Transit and for the Gold Beach School System. He plays oboe with the Curry and Del Norte Orchestra. He is our stage manager and equipment manager along with Yvonne. And Norm plays euphonium in the band. He's composed and arranged several works for band, orchestra, and small ensemble groups. His march contains several musical references to our band's opening, the uh, strike up the band piece that we do. And band players sometimes call the middle section, which is uh, like an interlude, a breakup strain or the dogfight strain. And Norm has divided the band in half, left and right. So those of you sitting down kind of close, you will probably hear a very definite left-right dogfight when we get to the interlude section. This is the Ashland City Band March by Norman Rowe.
Monroe.